Move over, Burgundy. Not Ron. <laughs> it, lo <laughs> it looks like Oregon has the best Pinot in the world. A Pinot Noir from a Dayton winery just won top honors. Our Keeley Chalmers is live at the big winner, Domain Serene, tonight. And Keeley, this is the first time an Oregon Pinot has won this competition. It is, and really what makes this all so special is that the competition was held in Europe, and it included top-notch wines from around the world. But in the end, it was the grapes from these very vines that came out on top. No rest for the weary at Domaine Serene. As construction crews hammer away, building the winery's new wine club and tasting rooms. Employees test out the equipment, getting it ready for what will likely be an early harvest. When Grace Evanstead founded the winery with her husband 27 years ago, she knew she would be producing some of the best wine in the world. And now she has the proof. Our Domain Serene Winery Hill uh, came out on top for the Pinots of the world. Decanter Magazine, the premier wine magazine in Europe, just held a competition for the best wines. A panel of international judges held a blind taste test and voted Domaine Serene's 2012 Winery Hill Pinot Noir the number one top-ranked Pinot in the world. It even beat out Burgundies that cost over a thousand dollars a bottle. New World wines have not really been very popular in England, so for them to have a European palate and to choose an Oregon wine was really very special. According to the Oregon Wine Board, last year, Oregon Pinot Noirs outsold any other Pinot in the country, their popularity growing almost as fast as their grapes. And while it's not a surprise to Evanstead, an Oregon Pinot took this recent top honor. We've always believed Oregon has great potential. I mean, it was a surprise. It was a bit of a surprise to some French wine experts, including Katie Labris. It was like, wow. American wine, Oregon wine, number one. But even Katie admits Domaine Serene deserves this honor, as does Oregon wine as a whole. It's a treat here in Oregon to have uh, such fabulous producers of wine. I mean, it's, as a French person, I enjoy it, I'm telling you. <laughs> now, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering how much the Winery Hill Pinot costs. Well, a lot less than $1,000. It goes for $90. However, the winning 2012 vintage is sold out. But the winery says the 2013 vintage is just as good. Back to you. Well, congratulations to them. That is really something. I bet it'll be snatched up the yeah. next vintage for sure. Thank you, Keely. <laughs>